Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the critical support and resistances for Bitcoin and also the importance of patience in trading because uh, today has been a great example of that so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one, having a great weekend and uh, yeah now enjoy this video. Uh, so let's, let's begin. So first of all you'll know how many times have I shown the 618 resistance being hit perfectly today is another great example of that and i'm going to show you how to pull the fib because last video people were asking exactly how we're doing it so we're going from the very high up here okay the very high after the big drop down down to our low okay which is obviously coming in here so from the high down to the low Look at this, this requires two days, two days of patience after we'd made this new low, okay? And by the way, that low was coming in uh, from our when we had our Fibonacci channel, okay? The Fibonacci channel, the golden pocket of the Fibonacci channel, along with the two to two extension, okay, from our Fibonacci extension pool. So there you're getting a nice uh, little bit of Fibonacci confluence to see a bounce to the upside, obviously going from around, you know, high 7Ks to uh, 884, okay? <laughs> Pretty much. So that's obviously a nice reaction in the end. And uh, then this is where you need to decide are you are you the trader that's trading that long up to resistance or are you waiting for the short uh off of the 618 okay that's obviously what a decision you'd have to make how comfortable you are trading it long and short etc etc but myself i actually oh well i did do a scope long yes but uh overall i'm expecting more downside so i was waiting here for a, for a big short uh you know and this requires two days of patience okay and there might be have been times when you think you oh, know it's not going to come up here you know a lot of thoughts go through your head as a trader of, you know, are you going to get this sort of perfect short, etc. Um, you know, that that's when laddering in is obviously a good tactic. But in the end, yes, exactly what, you know, kind of a, as you would expect, you come up to the golden pocket, which is also, if you zoom out here, a really critical support resistance. You can see the candle closes, seeing resistance, you know, an area of support flipped again into resistance. OK. You can also like flick some channels on here, okay? And you can start to see, you know, it's not here exactly, but you know, the top half of your channel right there, partial rise, and uh, you know, coming back down now to the bottom of the support channel. So uh, what I'm, you know, it, it, you know, you at this moment in time, if you did short that golden pocket, you could essentially, if you wanted to, have your stops literally at a break-even point now. And if you get stopped out, you might get a better opportunity for a higher short. Uh, but on the short term, I'm looking at support literally eight thousand. So support around eight thousand to about seven nine fifty. Okay, that area of support. And obviously, you have your very low coming in at seven thousand seven hundred thirty-six. Okay, um, so that's your your main support. But I'd, I'd like to see. Well, <laughs> like to see is is probably the wrong word, but just. 8,000 is a, is an important support level. Let's just say that, okay? Psychological number as well. Okay, so 8,000 is, is for me the support. Resistance is now really clearly going to be the golden pocket, okay? So that's coming in at around 8,400. Obviously, you can see here the, the high of the short coming in, literally uh, $4, uh, no, $6, apologies, for, from the actual high. So that was very nice indeed, okay? Then if, if we do break up, and you have to remember in trading, there's never ever a guarantee. There's no guarantee that this holds, but nevertheless, that's a 4% rise. And if you wake up, 4% in profit, uh, depending on your position sizes, etc. That's that's a lot of money. So uh, that's very nice to see the reactions from here. And, and now you're in like a, a nice position to be in. But if we do, in fact, make a move again from these highs, come up higher, I would be then, you know, changing up my viewpoint slightly that, yeah, we could we could come up and take this high because clearing the golden pocket is very important. Obviously, you're looking at the highs around uh, seven, seven, eight thousand five hundred. Let's just say eight thousand five hundred is an important resistance level. Uh, if you clear eight thousand five hundred, I wouldn't be surprised to challenge the highs at eight thousand eight hundred. If I'm honest, OK, you're looking at eight thousand five hundred, really around eight thousand six fifty and, and then the highs. So there's not too much in terms of resistance if you can clear this golden pocket, if I'm honest. OK, uh, I'd still be looking at that as a short opportunity and unless we clear 9,250, but uh, it's just something to bear in mind, okay? And uh, it's a little bit of a, a shout out to myself because obviously in the trading group now, we're for this is for all the levels, by the way, are doing the trading updates. And uh, this was the trading update that I gave everybody on Friday. Literally got that resistance perfectly of 8,393. As you know, the high come in here, 8,400. So within uh, literally $7 of the high, we got, well, I got this uh, daily resistance correct. And then I also gave the trades for the altcoins, basic attention token, engine coin, ETH, and um, uh, Enigma, yeah? Enigma ended in a 2% loss, okay? Basic attention token actually 10% gain. Ethereum still in profits, this is of a high, was a 5% gain. Engine coin, another 10% gain. So that is pretty, pretty good. If we, uh, you know, three wins, and two of the wins being 10% plus and the loss being 2%. That's that's pretty good going. Three out of four, if I don't say so myself. And, uh, and as well as getting the uh, altcoins correct, 
getting the resistance correct by seven dollars off the high that's pretty impressive <laughs> so yeah that's obviously a, a thing that i've added to the the group now where i'm just giving the really key stats telling you how i'm trading obviously with bitcoin the day prior to that also the phantom was a five percent gate so yeah pretty nice overall but uh yeah just Obviously, still trading this short on the, on the medium term, and we'll have to see if this short continues or not. Obviously, we can see Engine Coin still kind of going right now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is pretty nice, along with Raven. Yeah, uh, but wow. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's basically what I want to do uh, to just show you all, all those, those fib pools, the importance of patience. Obviously, I know, I know, I know uh, that when you see these drops down through the low 7,000s, you're thinking, oh, oh, here it goes. We're going straight. I've seen the posts of people starting to say we're going to 1,000. Um, pretty, pretty crazy. Overall, I still believe that we're in like a bull market. And this is a wave two and we're going up for new highs. So, uh, yeah, the people calling 1K are just really crazy in my opinion right now you have to trade it for how it comes you know i don't see the point in calling 1k right now it's just in my opinion so crazy uh still wave two until proven otherwise in my opinion but uh yeah on the short term eight thousand support and obviously your critical resistance now the, the golden pocket if you break above that you can come up for new highs and on the downside i guess i should say we're looking down towards uh, 7500 oh let me just zoom out and show you all really really clearly <laughs> have a guess what fib pool i'm looking for uh we can see the, the the golden pocket obviously coming around here okay golden pocket coming around seven thousand well i'm looking around seven thousand five hundred to six thousand nine hundred more or less if we line that up exactly then you can get a little bit of a better view but really around this 7k region seven five to seven k okay that would be my next sort of target for this move um so I hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you're interested in learning sort of things like this, and I teach everything to do with my trading and how I trade over in the group. So if you're really, really interested in taking it proper seriously and fully learning exactly how I do, obviously I've got over 50, well, probably about 70 hours now of uh, videos of exactly how I trade. And there's more two streams every week. We've got a live stream tonight. If you're interested in live trading, um, then yeah, I'll be live trading tonight as well. So uh if you're interested in that, you can come over and join the group. Obviously, it's it's extremely active as well. There's obviously all questions throughout the day. You can, yeah, it's, it's a great environment to learn in, but I'm not going to go on about this anymore. So I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend. Um, in England right now, it's 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 not too sunny, if I'm honest, but uh, <laughs> I hope that you enjoy it nevertheless. I personally love the sun, so I'm more happy when it's sunny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you have a great, great weekend or a great Sunday and enjoy the rest of your week. Obviously, I uh, hope to see some volatility going into the weekly close tonight. That would be absolutely perfect. So Hope you have a great time and uh, thank you again for watching the video. If you have enjoyed, I always appreciate a like. Um, yeah, that would be a great way of saying thank you. All right. Cheers, everybody. Thanks. Bye.